Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I think terrible. Terrible. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's been a long because, day. No, it's because of my flu. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yes. So you are not better. Now you got flu? Yes, teacher. Did you take some pills or something? Yes, during the in the morning, in the after the lunch. In just oh in a moment. Oh yes. my gosh. All right. I will, keep, I will keep the camera off because of, of the flu teacher. Yeah, uh, okay, no problem. Yeah, I understand. And I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you get better soon. And yeah, try to take some pills or something that can help you so you can better, you can get better. All right? Okay, thank you. Good. Yeah, I think that is because of the weather. Maybe the change of in the weather that affects a lot the health. Yes. Yes, you, because you... uh, to uh -huh. be honest, here is boiling. Mm, yeah, in my city too, it's <laughs> terrible too. Yes. I know. Yeah, but so. <laughs> yeah. So I know that affects a lot. So I hope that during the weekend, maybe you can rest a little bit or take something and that can help you, okay? I hope so, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So welcome, everybody. Who else is there? I can see Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. How are you? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel today? Today... Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just, just Friday. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. Look at the bright side. It's Friday. No, because so, I have to work tomorrow. Oh, really? When is when is your day off? Yes, just a Sunday, because oh. this week we have a day off. This the Monday was because was um like a holiday in USA. Ah, is the can you hear me? I cannot hear yes. you. Oh, yeah. Yes, is the what is the name of that holiday? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I just. I just forgot. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. And so it was day off, and we we have to uh, reposition, or you, we just change the day. We have Monday day off, and we have to work Saturday. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And it's like, oh my God, it's Friday. No, not Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So it's Friday. Well, but look at the bright side. You are here with us. <laughs> we are together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to work on the platform today. Yes, finally. So. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to do it right now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Because I have a question, teacher. The last module, uh, yes, the last module was five weekend weeks, and this one gonna be just four or intermediate level is always five weeks. Yeah. Okay. Because because uh, let me see. Yesterday I received a mail. For mm -hmm. my boss, and he asked me about to, if I want to continue in these classes. Mm -hmm. So I was confused because it was like, what? 
<laughs> how many weeks we, we have been learning oh, English? What, ha what happens is that in this case, I think the inscription is taking place before. They are trying to you to uh, enroll to the next level with advanced time. So you can keep your, your place in the course, right? Okay. Ellos necesitan llenar los cursos, por mm -hmm. eso les piden a ustedes que se inscriban lo más pronto posible. So that's why. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I was really confused. I was like, what? We, mm -hmm. we even finished the, the, week, the week two, so it was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's because of that. Okay. Están tratando que las inscripciones sean con tiempo adelantado para que al finalizar el curso ya todo esté listo y así se evita que el siguiente módulo se tarde en empezar. That's why. Okay. Teacher, I have a good news for you. Okay. Tell so me. today I, I was I was talking with a uh, with a collection agency. Full okay. in English and I understand everything and they got catch everything what I told her. Cool! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> you are doing great! Very yes. good! Congratulations. Actually, actually at the beginning, at the beginning I, I, I talked to her, sorry, English is not my first language, so if I said something wrong, tell me the, the way to say it better. And she told me that, it's okay, don't worry, I understand what you are telling to me, and so I'm going to help you with with everything I can. And I was like, oh, <laughs> wow congratulations you see you can do it pretty nice yeah, I'm, interesting. I'm, I'm proud of you very good job excellent <laughs> all right and today is a special day guys talking about special days today is also a special day today is um well, besides the, the, the fact that it's Friday, do you know why today is a special day? Any idea? Because today is today because today is um uh, is a for is a Forbes birthday. Birthday, that's correct. So everybody, we are going to have a party tonight. It's the 30th anniversary, yes? 30 yes. Years. Wow. I imagine nice. 30 years. So I just wonder how many people had studied in, in the Encephor courses, right? So 30 years, I mean, it's my age. So basically we have the same age. <laughs> so uh, I think that it's important to celebrate good things. I think that Insafor is a good thing because it's helping a lot of people, right? Not only with the English classes, but also with the different courses. You know that Insafor has a lot of type of course, uh, courses, and I think that there are a lot of people learning from them. So 30 years is a huge career, but I hope they can get more years, <laughs> okay? So if you know people, guys, remember you can always share good things. If you know people that they would like to learn um, how to work on Excel, if you want to learn English, uh, there are another marketing program. So you can tell them to search on Insefer program so they can enroll, okay? And in order to celebrate, I have prepared a surprise. <laughs> what do you think? What, what are we going to do today? What do you think? We are going to going be a to party. <laughs> Ready <laughs> some minutes. Wow. Come on, guys. Maybe oh, a yeah. party. <laughs> Yeah, hey, let's have a virtual party. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but no, I will I will show you later. You will see what we're going to do, okay? Now, welcome everybody. Welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being on time. Again, thank you for the ones who has the camera on. And the one who don't, you know what to do. 
Okay, so camera on, please. It's not optional. Uh, let me share the presentation. Can you see it? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Yep. Okay, so today is June 2nd. All right. We are finishing the week number three. And basically today also we will be finishing the unit number two. So next Monday we are going to start week four, unit three. And in order to complete this level, it's missing only two more weeks. Okay, so I know that I always say this, but platform, okay? Don't forget to work on it. I can see very good scores in the midterm. All the answers that I can see were perfect, 100%. So good job, I like that. Peter, um, I'm sorry, but can you send the link of the platform? Because I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> You don't even have the link. Oh my goodness. Sure. Um, let's see. Don't need the link. It's in the internet. You yes. Just try sure. the less corporativo and singing. It's easy. But um, yeah, because I don't have it right here. I had to open my email and resend it. I can do it, but after the class. Okay. Now, today, okay, uh, today, guys, we are going to have a midterm review and practice, okay? So I want to see how much you remember from all the topics that we have been studying during the past three weeks, okay? How are we going to do it? Well, I will let you know. Um, I can see someone sent the link. It's on WhatsApp's group. Thank you, Christian. So, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Thank you. Okay, let's just start a review. Um, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Uh huh. Sorry. Yes, please. Um, class of objective. Participant will review important topics studied during the previous classes in order to be able to answer correctly a quiz. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do today? It's a surprise. Let's review some of the topics. Let's start with the social expressions. What are the social expressions that we have been studying in the past classes? Uh huh. Oh my gosh, you don't remember? Yes, bless you. Bless you, very good. What else? Only Magdalena remembers. And the other ones? Help yourself. Which one? Help yourself. Help yourself. Very good. What else? Hmm. Oh my goodness. Imagine. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ah, very good. Congratulations. Imagine if I say, you know what, guys, uh, my dog died. What would you say? My condolences. My condolences. My condolences. Condolences. Okay. I <laughs> Very good. Imagine if I say, you know what, guys, tomorrow I will have a very important exam, so I'm nervous. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Okay. What else? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Well, don't um, worry. <laughs> don't worry. Very good. So social expressions. We have been studying different ones. 
For example, you can say, imagine if someone is very nervous, anxious, you can say, hey, calm down, okay? Calm down. Um, if someone is sick, what are we going to say? Uh-huh. Get well soon or get better soon. Very good, that's correct. Imagine if I say, um, guys, I just bought a new car <laughs> and I crashed it. <laughs> what would you say? Uh-huh. Hey, what a shame. What a, what a shame. shame. Okay. Also, we can say, oh, no way, right? Because we are like totally surprised. That is another scenario that you can use that one. Imagine if I say, hey, I had a visa, so I'm going to travel to the United States. What would you say? Congratulations first for your have visa and have a good trip. <laughs> ah, very good, very good. Um, let's see what else. Um, imagine if I say, um, well, guys, have a good night, have a beautiful weekend. What would you say? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And same? Same to you. Same, same to, you. to you. Cool. Excellent. So those are some expressions that we can use, right, in a social conversation. Now, before I continue, I'm just going to check attendance, okay? When you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see, Adrián Escalante. Present. Thank you. Carlos Abrego. Present, teacher. All right. Christian Alexander. Oh, he's listener, I guess, yes. Um, Erika Jasmin. Present. Okay. Fatima Denise. Uh, she's listener too, right? Present okay. teacher. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Um, Germán Alexander. Present. Okay, Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Isabel Hernández. Present miss. Okay. Iván Guzmán. Present. All right. Jamie Raquel. Jamie, no? Okay. Eh, Holman Giron. Holman? Okay. Um, Lucy Natalie. Present. All right. Magdalena Escalante. Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Pretty good. Nelson Antonio. Present. All right. Oscar Armando. Okay, Oscar said that her, his daughter was sick. Do you know anything about him? No? No, I don't okay. know anything. Okay, okay. Um, Rosalina Alvarado. Nope. Okay. Now let's practice and see if you remember the social expressions. Imagine guys, these are scenarios. And I say, hey, I have a new job. What would you say? Congratulations. Ah, very good. So we are going to role play these scenarios. Some of you are going to say the ideas, but do it like a conversation, okay? For example, uh, hey guys, you know what? Uh, I have my dog. Uh, my dog is, is like my kid, okay? It's like my baby. He has been sick during the past weeks. Uh, yesterday I took him to the vet, but he didn't make it and he died. So what would you say? Uh -huh. My condolences. Condolences. 
condolences. My condolences, says, pretty good. And what else can we say in this scenario, guys? What other ideas comes to your mind? He shared when, when someone died, say people say a rib is a capital letter, R I P. Rest yes. in peace. Rest in peace. In mm, peace. Yeah, it's not but so it's, common to say, ah, oh, rest in peace. Not really, right? What we say is the same things that we say in Spanish. What is the first things that we say in Spanish when we listen to this kind of news? Que descanse en paz. I'm so sorry oh, to hear I'm that. So right? That's pretty Lo sad. siento mucho. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, you say, lo siento mucho, que descanse en paz, o mm -hmm. que Dios la tenga en su gloria, mm -hmm. o la tenga en su gloria. Actually, I feel that in Spanish, we are like more, how expressive, that's, that's the word. We are more expressive. We say more deep phrases, like, uh, but in English, the phrases are a little bit more simple, right? Like, I'm sorry to hear that, receive my deep condolences, okay? okay. Uh, if you want to say the phrases that you say in Spanish, in that case, you need to translate it. Okay? okay. Pretty good. Okay, you. uh, you're welcome. Number three, volunteer please for the number three. Don't read the sentence, say it with your own words. Express how you feel. Volunteer, number three. Good luck. Okay, but read the scenarios imagine that you are the person and we are going to tell you the phrases can i try <laughs> yes mirna go ahead hello guys um last week i ha i apply a, a a job and tomorrow i have a job interview finally uh, hi everybody <laughs> yes perfect everybody what would you say Hey, good luck, Myrna. <laughs> Thank you, Magdalena. <laughs> That's the attitude. Thank you. Very good. So imagine, she says, finally, right? She's waiting for that. So, hey, good luck. Excellent. Even we can say that, right? congratulations in advance. I know you will get the job. Pretty good. Volunteer for the number four. Uh -huh. Let's participate, everybody. Number four. Yes. Hey, everybody. My vacation starts today. Say <laughs> goodbye, please. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I could feel it. So everybody, what would you say to him? Excellent, Mandaleno. What will you do on vacation? Ah, pretty good. Excellent. What will you do on vacation, brother? I will Visit have a lot of parents. <laughs> from the beach. Mm -hmm. So what imagine, else? that's a good one. So you can say, right? Hey, congratulations. Good for you. Uh, enjoy. Okay. Um, now, imagine, guys, uh, tomorrow, well, tonight, I'm flying to Spain, okay? So after the class, I'm flying to Spain, okay? So I'll see you next week. What would you say? Have a good trip. Ah, very, very good. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good trip. Take enjoy, care. Enjoy and your in Spain. In, yeah, very good. <laughs> Even, right, if you are a believer, you can give your blessings, right? Like, hey, bless you, right? May God bless you and that everything goes all right. Um, volunteer for the number six, please. If I don't have volunteers, I will pick. Okay, Ivan, number six, please. Okay, I'm going to a party to meet 
meet my old school friends. Mm, oh, when? Ex when? Excellent. It's a long, long time ago. I don't see my friends. Mm, okay. So everybody, what would you say? Okay. Oh, mm. That's good. That's nice. Uh, that's nice uh -huh. for you and have uh -huh. fun with your friends, with, with your uh, all the school friends. Very good. So good for you. Have fun. Don't drink too much. <laughs> okay. Now, imagine <laughs> if I say, guys, hey, I'm afraid I can't go with you to the movie theater tonight because I have a lot of work to do. What would you say? No worries, my friends. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay, what else can we say? Hey, I won't be able to go with you. Uh huh. What no else? way. No way. It's, ah. it's like a sad or it's like a oh no. Okay, no way is when you cannot believe something it's like no way, way. uh-huh um, it's like uh -huh. man come on it's right? depend the intonation in your depending, voice maybe. exactly oh. depending on the intonation and also depending of the way that you say it because if you are very surprised you can say like oh, no way right this is like wow Okay. Or you can say like, no way. It's because you are angry at something or at someone. Okay? okay. Okay. The last one. Imagine, uh, well, in this moment, one of your classmates is very sick. So Nelson doesn't feel so good. What would you tell him? Uh-huh. Tell him something because he doesn't feel so good. He's a little bit sick. What would you oh, say? No. Get well soon. Get, get well better soon. soon. Get better soon. Right? So these phrases, everyone, are social expressions. Try to use them. Okay? These expressions help you to sound friendly and very polite. Okay? So use them. Any questions so far, everyone, about these phrases? Yes? No? What is the no. meaning? What is the meaning? Call, call down. Calm down. This is like relax. Like take it easy. Yes, that is the meaning of call down. Like when somebody is like um, nervous and you say, hey, calm down, relax. Okay? relax relax or you when should. someone is very angry and you say hey no man relax take it easy okay is the same teacher keep the calm keep the calm or not or not the same no keep the calm i've never heard that but instead of calm down you can say keep calm keep calm oh, like this okay keep calm calm Oops. ah okay mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same. Keep okay. calm. Thank yes. you. Keep calm. Mm -hmm. This phrase actually appears uh, during the emergency, get, get, right? Uh, get well soon. Oh, get well soon is when somebody is sick and you wish that that person feels better soon. So that is the meaning of get well soon. When you wish health for the other person. Wish mm -hmm. okay. uh, is uh, the translation is que mejore pronto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, that one. Espero que sigas mejor, que te recuperes pronto. That's the translation into Spanish. Okay. okay. Is there any other phrase okay. that you don't know what the meaning is? No? Okay. So everybody, try to practice them, please. All right? 
Believe me, those phrases makes you sound like very friendly, very polite. It's pretty nice to talk to someone who is always using this kind of phrases. And these ones are not the only ones. There are more. The same as in Spanish, the same as in English, okay? So try to use them. Now, because we are in a review, we are trying to remember the topics that we have been studying during this weeks. I want to see how much you remember. And for that, <laughs> it's a review time. But we are going to do it through a quiz. Do you want to have a quiz? No, teacher. No, thank you. <laughs> tomorrow, maybe. maybe tomorrow or uh -huh. maybe something. Next, next, next. <laughs> Don't leave for tomorrow what you can do today. Uh, so, everyone, quiz time. Okay? Listen, it's not a... <laughs> how can I say it? Well, it's, it's just a practice, okay? It's a quiz, but it's just a practice, okay? And it's pretty easy. If you have been in the class, if you have been paying attention, it's going to be a piece of cake, okay? I'm going to show you what we are going to do. So relax, calm down. Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes? Yes. Okay, this is just a midterm review. The first things that I need is to write your full names, okay? Write your full names and then clicking next. The first part is about certainty and uncertainty words. Easy, we did this practice during the class. I have these phrases, you just have to tell me if you think that is certainty or uncertainty. For example, if I say, of course, of course is for certainty or uncertainty. Hmm, what do you think? Certainty. Well, okay, if you think that is for certainty, okay, click in certainty. If you think that is not, that is for uncertainty, okay, click in uncertainty. You decide. Okay, that is the first part. Pretty easy. In the second part is about the seven R's. I hope you remember the seven R's. Yes? Right product, right time, ta ta ta. So I have here different examples. We also did it in the class. I got examples, and you just have to pick the correct right. For example, uh, the grocer has to meet quantity requirements from their customers and ensure that the quantity of product is not affected by perceivability. So in this case, you have to say, hey, I think that this example is for right product. Or you can say, no, I think that is the right time or the right quantity. I don't know, you have to decide the correct R, okay? Remember what we always say during the reading parts, look up the keywords. So when you finish this one, again, just click in next. So far so good, yes, do we have a question? No? Everything is clear. Everything right. are clear. Everything is. We always use everything in singular. No worries. Okay. Now, the next part is about the comparative as, as. Do you remember that topic? Yes? Yes, I <laughs> Only Magdalena says yes. Hmm. All right. In this case, guys, uh, you just have to complete the answer. For example, Peter is, and in parentheses, I have not. That means that the sentence is going to be in negative. And then I have told. I don't want you to write the full sentence. You just have to write the phrase that is going to be here. So it's not necessary that you write 
Ah, uh, Peter is, no. You just have to write what is in the middle, okay? Be careful with your typing. If you write one letter wrong, everything will be wrong. So it's not necessary a comma or a point, just write the answer. And in this part, again, you just have to choose the correct answer. She bought, ta 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 ta, shoes at her sister. Hmm, she bought as much or as many shoes. I don't know, you just have to decide. So that is something that we studied in the class. Clear? Yes? Yeah. Okay. The next one, and this is the last one, is about the uh, party logistics. I have different definition and you just have to think. Um, is for one party logistic, the second or the third? This is always, this is something that we also studied in the class. So if I say, a business manufacturing TV packs, stores and outsource delivery to their customers using a career. If you think that this concept is for the first party logistic, okay, click on it. If you think, no, I think that is the third party, okay, click on it. Okay, and at the end, you just had to click in send and automatically, you will see your score, okay? You can see your punctuation and there is going to tell you how many correct answers you had. Got it? Yes? Teacher, we need to put a letter in the part where we have to write. No, you don't. Any capital letter, no commas, no points, nothing. You just have to write the phrase that is exactly in the space, okay? Any questions, everyone? No? Okay. Remember, this is just to see how much you remember. So don't get nervous, calm down, relaxed. I'm going to send the link right now here on Zoom. So open up the link, write your full names and don't copy, all right? This is just you and your mind. Um, everything will be fine. <laughs> okay, don't copy. It's just to see how much you remember, all right? If you have a question, I can explain but I cannot give you the answers. Go ahead. Can you send teacher the link in WhatsApp group, please? Sure, yes, uh, in this moment mm -hmm. I'm sending it, yes. Okay, thank you. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Don't forget to write your full names, all right? If you have questions, just let me know, please.
Good evening, Miss. Hello, you're Hola. here. <laughs> yes, excuse me. <laughs> I come late. What is the topic today? Oh, in this moment, we are having a review, Rosalina. Uh, I already sent a link here in the chat, but also on WhatsApp's group. You just need to open up the link. It's like a quiz. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, oh just write goodness. your full name and answer the questions. It's not a big deal. It's pretty easy. No worries. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. You. And I'm happy to see you here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, hi, everyone. If you have a question, just let me know, please. No copy, guys. I just want to see how much you remember. If you have a question, just let me know. If you have a question, just let me know, please. In the end, guys, uh, the exam says it has like 20 points, pero en realidad solo son 19 puntos porque el nombre no cuenta. <laughs> okay, así que si sacan 19, that's great. That's the punctuation that you must have. And remember, in the part that you have to write, solo tienen que escribir lo que va a ir en el espacio. No es necesario escribir toda la respuesta, please. In the part number three, comparative as as. Exactly. No es necesario okay. que escriban toda la respuesta. Solo lo que va a ir en el pedacito. Solo lo que hace falta. I know I did. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my. You Sorry. See? Okay, no, no worries. But if the answer is correct, I mean, if you write it correctly, it's okay. No worries. And actually, I can see that you wrote it correctly. I mean, sure. Yes. I wrote complete the, the Yes, that's mm -hmm. what I'm checking right and now. That, oh, very bad. <laughs> I know, I know. Guys, I told you since I'm the very sorry. beginning, don't run. 
Don't write a full sentence. Okay, but if you see in the end, I mean, si al final su respuesta coincide, it's fine. Okay, so in your case, Hector, I can see you wrote the full answer. Yes, but it's correct. Okay, so don't worry. Turn happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The only ones that you got to be careful is with the ones that as much and as many. In that one, you had to be careful, okay? Okay, everyone, remember, read carefully, keywords, identify them. In this moment, only two people uh, have finished, all right? Well, three people already. Hmm, pretty good. <laughs> and Elizabeth did the same as Hector, my goodness. Okay. Yes, I did, sorry. <laughs> I can't hear you, <laughs> sorry. I did, when I said I did. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. And sorry. those are the only ones that you got like incorrect, but just because you wrote the full answer. If I see it, the answer, I mean, it's totally correct. Okay. So, okay, thank you, Miss. Yeah. All right, I can see five people already finished and I can see very good scores. Okay. Now, listen, en la parte de escribir, posiblemente si escribieron capital letters se los va a tomar como incorrect, right? Si le colocaron un punto, se los va a tomar como incorrect or if you write the full sentence, también se los va a tomar como incorrect. But as I said, this is just a review, okay? No es que esa nota les voy a colocar ya así. No, relax, okay? I just want to see if you truly remember the topics, okay? Now, so far so good. I can see very good scores. I liked it. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Okay, I can see seven people already finished. All right. Teacher, we will check. The answer after when everybody finished? Of course. Yes. Did you pass the exam, everyone? Yeah. <laughs> of I course. Have, I have I'm had, positive. <laughs> <laughs> I have five, five failed. Oh my Fail. goodness. What they is the correct word? Fail or fail? Fails or mistakes mistake mm -hmm. okay we're going to wait for everyone okay so let's wait a little bit easy or difficult uh-huh for the ones that already finished yes we have to remind <laughs> it's not a big deal you see my exams are always easy i think that the ones that is in the platform is more difficult So guys, just it, read carefully. <laughs> it was it was easy. I don't understand why I lost them. <laughs> oh my Actually, it, it is just in the Oliver answer. <laughs> you, you were telling about just the 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 the, the, one, the comparative, and I just erase the oh. rest of the phrase. I Can have I mistake erase just the last ask? <laughs> Hey, Eric, ah, I have a mistake. The first one is nos. Mm. It is not. <laughs> My goodness. The typing is the ones that is. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, but we are going to check the answers. No worries. All right. Keywords, everybody. That's the secret. Keywords. The curious thing 
<laughs> is that I can see most of you got the same mistake. <laughs> Si no los conociera, dijera que, que, que copiaron, right? But uh, I know that you don't do that. So I can see already nine people finished. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. We are going to check the answers. Okay, and we are going to resolve it and we are going to review. So if there is a topic that you don't remember, tell me, tell me. For the ones that are already finished, what is the most difficult part? Part one, two, three, or four? In my case, at the part number three, I I am mistake the the user the as as. Ah, okay. <laughs> and you guys, what was like the most difficult part? I agree with the band <laughs> when I when I write <laughs> the grammatic or the grammar or typing. Or, or okay. Typing, yes. All right. So that means, guys, that that is skill that you need to practice more. Okay. Remember, we need to keep a balance: speaking, listening, reading, writing. Okay. So. Let's see how many people already finished. We have nine people already finished, but... Okay, I'm going to give you three more minutes. I think that not everybody will take it right now because some of your classmates are listeners. So I'm going to give you three more minutes and then we are going to verify the answers. Read carefully. Remember, keywords. Keywords, that's the secret. Next time, <laughs> I will include listening maybe, right? A listening part, a reading part. Hmm. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Teacher, your microphone. Teacher, I, I just, <laughs> Sorry. Teacher, your microphone off. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we are going to verify the answers. Okay, so no worries. Because of your score, I'm not going to put it on the platform. So calm down. All right, let's verify the first part. In the first part, you just need to choose the correct answers. Uh, let's start with, of course. Of course, is certainty or uncertainty? Certainty. 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 Very good. Then we have doubtless. What is the meaning of doubtless? Is for certainty or uncertainty? Uncertainty. Uncertainty. Ah, so be careful because in this word, I can see many people um, choose chose the incorrect answer. Doubt is uncertainty. But if you add less, that means zero. ¿Qué estamos diciendo ahí? Zero doubt. Es decir, que no hay dudas. So that's why doubtless is certainty. 
Presumably. What is that? Uncertainty. Uncertainty, right? Imagine if I say, guys, will it rain tomorrow? Well, presumably. But we don't have a lot of possibilities and da 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 da. Supposedly. Hmm. What is that? Uncertainty. Uncertainty. Definitely. Very good. If I say naturally. Certainty. 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 Apparently. Uncertainty. Certainty. Uncertainty. Okay. Those were the answers in the first part. Some of you got mistake in the second. Doubtless. So doubt and doubtless, they are not the same. Okay. Uh, any questions about these words? Nope. All right. Let's move on. In the second part is about the R's. Um, if you remember, we were studying in the class the right product, right time, right quantity, right price, right customer. So in this case, I just took four. In the first one, what was the right uh, letter here? Right product, time, quantity, or price? Right quantity. Right? Right quantity. Right quantity. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Agree. Why? Why do you think that is right quantity? Because the keyword about... is a quantity. Quantity. Yeah. In quantity. the same exercise appears the answer. If you see, grocers has to meet quantity requirement. So it's not necessary to read all of this in order to identify the answer. How about the next one? Yeah. Yeah, Samsung yeah. must ensure that the models are charged with the Price. corresponding prices. So, prices. Right price. That's why I always say keywords. Um, next one. Unilever has guaranteed that sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure the right time delivery to the customer. What is that? Right time. Right time. Right time. Very good. And in the last one, we don't have more options, but even though we can read it, products that our customers need, either today or in the future. So the products that the customer needs. So what is that? The right product, okay? Any questions so far about this section? No? No, it is clear. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And here is, where you got some mistakes. First of all, I told you that it's not necessary to write the full sentence. You just have to write the ones that is here. Remember when we use comparative as, as, what is the structure? I just need as plus the adjective plus as. In this case, look, is negative. What happens if it is negative? Can I say as not tall as Fred? Is that correct? What do you think? I remember teacher uh, that it is uh, not as. Uh-huh, very good. And here is where some of you got mistakes because you put not after us. And remember, we have here the verb to be. If we have the verb to be, we put it here. Not as, do I need to change the adjective like taller? Can I say that? 
I remember that it's just mm -hmm. tall. Exactly. Oh. We don't need changes in the adjective because remember, we are comparing two things that are just the same. Okay. And in this case, okay, let's see. Let me check. Okay. Uh, some of you got incorrect answers because of this. Um, in this Google form, solo puedo escribir una respuesta, right? Entonces, si su spelling no match o doesn't match con la respuesta que yo programé, sí se las va a tomar como equivocadas. So, en este caso, si ustedes le agregan un point, automatically se las va a tomar como incorrect. Eh, si ustedes la ponen en capital letters, like not as tall, se las va a tomar como incorrect. Um, si ustedes escribieron la full sentence, se las va a tomar como incorrect. Ok, that's why. So, It's en sure. este caso solo se puede programar una respuesta. That's why. Mm -hmm. sure, my mistake was my phone have programmed with, my phone have been programmed, has uh -huh. been programmed with capital letters at the, at the beginning of every one of the sentences. And <laughs> It was my mistake. Exactly. So that's why. Imagine if you change it here and you say not. Also, that could be a mistake. Por eso les digo, al final, I mean, en ese del typing, si ustedes comparan su respuesta y la tienen correcta, so that's the point. No worries. Okay? Remember that it is it's just a practice, everyone. No worries. No worries. All right, how about the second one? This copy is, what would be the correct answer? As bad as. As bad as the other one. So again, if you write capital letters, or it's going to be a mistake. Oliver is? Has to it has. Uh -huh. As optimistic as. Today is? Not as windy as. Correct. In this case, it's negative, right? Today is not as windy as yesterday. Now, in the last part, remember, when we checked this class, I told you, We need to use, or we can use these ones, not only with adjectives, but also with nouns. In this case, I have choose. Choose is countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. So which one can I use with the countables? Much or many? Many, many. Correct. So we are going to say she bought as many shoes as her sister, okay? And in this part, some people got mistakes. So you just have to identify if the noun is countable or not. Now, in the next one, it says, I don't drink ta -ta 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 soda. So, countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Exactly. We cannot count the sodas. I mean, we can count the container. In this case, many or much? Much. much. Exactly. Much. Pretty good. Okay, next. All right. In this one, if you remember, we reviewed this. Even we had a practice. If you remember that you have to choose if you are going to hire a second or a third party logistic. So in the number one says, a business manufacturing, okay, one business manufactured the TVs, okay, stores the TVs too, but they outsources the delivery. So is this an example of the first party logistic second or third? What do you think? Second. The second? Yes, Why? the second. second. Why? They just need delivery to, call, to, 
To get to, to the, the customers. Yes, to get to the customers. Exactly. So how many companies are involved in the process? Only two, all right? Now, let's see the other example. There is a company, they only manufactures the TVs. That's the only things that they do. Then they hire a company to transport, to packaging, warehousing. So what do you think? 3PL. 3PL. So if imagine, in this case, how many companies are involved in the process? Okay, that is the key word that you have to analyze. And in the last one, look, the company manufactures the TV, they packs the TV, they stores the TV, and also they delivers directly to the customers. What kind of party logistic is this? Mm -hmm. You are here. It's only one, right? The first party logistic. And basically, guys, that was the exam. Easy or difficult? What do you think? Difficult. <laughs> difficult. Absolutely difficult. <laughs> <laughs> because of the writing practice. I mean, I think that just yeah, because yeah. of the, the one, the part that you have to write, that was like the difficult one. Okay. But listen to me, guys, you just have to be careful. Remember when you read, try always to find the keywords. That is the secret, okay? Now, uh, remember that is just a, a review, okay? Just in case, just to remember how much is it clear the topics. Right now, I can see that most of you got very good scores. I mean, salieron mal por el hecho de, de la parte de escribir, right? Un typing, o por eso se los tomó como equivocados. But later, I mean, most of the answers were correct. So pretty good job. If you got mistakes, you can see which questions you got mistakes. So you can try to practice them a little bit more. Any questions so far? Yes? Nope? No. Okay, very good. Okay, exam is over. <laughs> you can relax. Okay, breathe, relax. Now let's think about something different. Um, we are going to talk about for and against. Can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes, pretty good. I have a question for you guys. What type of vacations do you enjoy? Uh huh. Anyone? What do you think? What type of vacations do you enjoy? Tell me, tell me. Like the picture teacher, only me, not, not many. Many people around me. Ah, this so vacation for me. Hardly, <laughs> not not many many people. Maybe one, two, three, but no more. <laughs> so, do you like to visit places that are not crowded, like few people only? Crowded, teacher. Packed. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And you guys. What kind of vacations do you enjoy? Do you enjoy going to the beach or visiting beautiful towns, small towns, staying at home? What vacations do you enjoy? I prefer to visit the mountains. Mm, very good. Uh huh. Who else? Teacher, the type of vacation that I enjoy is discover new places. Very and good. Like which ones? What kind of places? Uh, a small, a small, um, a small cities. 
or maybe fruta de las flores or something like that and, and pueblitos I don't know like like the, the the magic towns the magic town yes ah, I enjoy actually that. that's that's a good option too nice so that is basically what we are going to talk about today okay so here we got some vocabulary related to visit places. I got here some phrases, so please match them with the definitions. And the first one is sightseeing. Have you ever seen that word before? Sightseeing. No. Sightseeing. No? no idea. No idea? Not the chair, I never have heard. Okay, I'm going to show you a picture about sightseeing and it's going to give you like an idea. What is that? Look at this picture. Who are them? What are they doing? What do you think? I don't know, uh, I don't know, it's um, hang, hang out. Hang out, mm -hmm. but especially in which situations? Traveling, maybe. Traveling, very good. Are they tourists? Tourists? What do you think? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So if you they are have a, a map. Uh -huh. Aha. Yes. So if you are a tourist. Not only in another country, I'm just imagining our country too. If you go to a new place, you want to know the places. So you are going there, you are checking all the things. So sightseeing is visiting new places for you. So sightseeing is just a synonym of tourism. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. 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 It's, it's just like tourism. You go to a city and you want to see what are the attractions. So according to that idea, what do you think? What would be the definition of sightseeing? Energy visited interesting mm -hmm. places, especially when you are on vacation. Ah, do you agree, everybody? According that you Please say agree. that the meaning, yes, I agree. All right, so we are going to put sightseeing right here, letter G, and that is the one. So sightseeing is when you visit interesting places, places that are new for you, especially again on your vacations, on your day off. And it's not necessarily like in another country. It can be in your country too. Okay, next one, night life. What do you think? C, maybe letter C. Letter C. Letter B. Letter C. Letter B. Okay, some of you say C, some of you say B. Hmm. Nightlife mm. is it's entertainment night and social activity would happen in the evening. Crazy night. <laughs> <laughs> <Is it laughs> <letters? laughs> okay, crazy night. <laughs> I think that is a little bit different. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but in this case, yes, is the letter C. Are those kind of entertainments or activities that happens at night, right? In the evening not in the morning okay do we have uh, night life here in el salvador yes yes we have yeah we do right i love do <laughs> and do you like it guys when you are on vacations for example do you like to those kind of activities sometimes yes. Sometimes, and you guys, yeah. yes? Yes, yeah, sometimes too. Pretty good. Okay, a tourist trap. 
what do you think? Um, that's letter B. Letter B? What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes. A place, for example, a store, a nightclub, which sells expensive, expensive. goods or services to tourists. Yes? Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, when they sell the, the water, for example. Or, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you pay have you have to pay two or more than two dollars for a bottle of water. Yes. Imagine guys, just see the example. If you go to Guatemala, <laughs> you know that Guatemala and El Salvador we have different accents, right? So if you go to Guatemala and they listen to you that your accent is different they will sell things more expensive. If you try to talk to them, like imitate the accent, they won't uh, sell the things like more expensive. It will be just the same. So definitely that is tourist trap. Do you think that that happens in our country, especially with the American tourists? Yes, maybe in the future. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, definitely. All right. Now, local. A local. What is that? What do you think? Letter, Letter A. 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 A Letter person who A. lives in a particular area. Exactly. Oh. So imagine in this case, if you live in San Salvador, you are a local. Oh. Because that's the place that you live. If you visit Santa Ana, people from Santa Ana, they are local. Local. Exactly. Local. Oh. Local. Yeah. Local. <laughs> local. 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 <laughs> local. Right. Oh, my goodness. My goodness <laughs> with you guys. Okay. Now, <laughs> round down. Hmm. What do you think? Oh. What is that? Maybe letter D. Can you read it, please? In very bad condition, needs to be repaired or rebuilt. 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 Do you agree, everyone? Rebuilt. Run down. Actually, yes. That is the correct one. And this guys applies for different touristic area. Sometimes the place is very beautiful, but some years later, what happens? Mm, the place is round down. That means in bad condition. Um, <laughs> we in Spanish, sometimes we say the startalado, right? So that is the meaning for round down in ruins, it's not good anymore. Have you ever visited a rundown place? That in the picture, it was beautiful, <laughs> but in the real life, it's rundown. Have you ever visited that, that kind of place? The Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not good, it was rundown? 10 years ago, the camera is <laughs> like at the picture, but now I know you. <laughs> Some people say that after COVID change. So what do you think, guys? Do you agree with that? Yes, a lot. Maybe not in ruins, but it's not the same. The quality is, yes. is going down. Yes. Okay. That's a good example. So what does it mean? Run down? in very bad conditions, okay? Now, next, uh, next one, the tourist trade. What do you think, what is that? Tourist trade. Letter F. Letter F, the tourism business or industry. What do you think, guys? Yes. Exactly, that's like, the business that they generate. Tourism is a huge industry. There are some countries or cities that they depend or their economy depends on tourism, right? Can you give me examples of places that needs tourist 
a tourist trade? Surf city, without Surf. that. That's true. They Their economy depends on tourist trade. What else? <laughs> Los planes de renderos. <laughs> That's another example. Imagine there are so many business there and the economy depends on the tourist trades. Pretty mm -hmm. good. Okay, the last one, standard of living. What is that? Uh, mm -hmm. So in this case, guys, standard of living, remember that is the way that each person lives in a society, right? In a specific place. Is the level of material comfort, how good the person lives there in that specific city. All right. So is it clear the vocabulary, everyone? Yes? No? Clear? Yes. No questions? Are you sure? Don't have anyone. Okay, pretty good. If you don't have questions, let's move on. Now, we are going to listen to an audio, okay? About three people. I have Alice, Simon, and George. They are visiting a historical town in Europe. So listen to the audio, okay? And they will express their opinions about that place. You are going to listen to different opinions. So you have to identify who said that comment. For example, local business has benefited. I'm sorry, benefited. In this case, ¿Quién dijo eso? Ah, Simon says that. The second one, employment is lower and the standard of living has improved. You have to listen to the audio and you have to tell me who said that. If you think that Alice said that, you have to write a letter A here. If you think that it was Simon, okay, write the letter S. If you listen to the audio and you say, no, George said that, you have to write the letter G. Is it clear, the activity, everyone? Yes? Yes, sir, it's clear. Excellent. Okay, everybody, uh, you can answer in your notebooks. And we are going to see later if your answers are correct or not. Microphones off, everybody, to avoid interferences, please. Pretty good. Here we go. Pay attention. So, Simon, what's your opinion about the tourism explosion here? I think tourism has really benefited the local businesses. Many businesses depend on the tourist trade, and they provide jobs to plenty of people. Yes, I totally agree with that. Unemployment is much lower than it was in the past, so that's definitely a good thing for the locals. Also, the standard of living has improved a lot since I last came here. And just take a look at all the new cafes, restaurants, and stores that have appeared. There are many more choices than there were in the past. What do you think, George? In my opinion, tourism has had a positive impact. But I think that the town's infrastructure and transportation system still need a lot of work. Yes, that's true. It's not that easy to get around. I also think that from the architectural point of view, the tourism explosion has had a negative impact. The town has some of the most beautiful medieval buildings and churches in Europe. But all these ugly new hotels that they are building look awful. But on the other hand, the money that tourists spend helps the local government to maintain and restore the old buildings. Just a few years ago, many of these buildings looked very run down. So tourism has really helped there. On top of that, the streets are definitely cleaner and safer than before. 
That may be true, but I feel the town has lost its character a bit. I mean, there are plenty of places to go sightseeing, but for me it has been ruined by all the tourist traps, fast food restaurants, hotels, and souvenir shops. Simon, I'm not sure about that to be honest. I would say the character of the place has improved as a result of tourism. The nightlife is excellent. In the center, there's such a variety of unique bars and cafes. Well, you could be right, but many of those bars attract the kind of noisy tourist who drinks too much and behaves badly. It's not always easy to find a place where you can simply relax with your friends and have a quiet drink. Could everybody listen to the audio? Yes. All right. So if you see all of them were giving their opinions about that historical town in Europe. Did you get the answers or do you want to listen to it one more time? Teacher, I don't have the number four and the number seven. Could you repeat that, please? Of please, course. One more time, please. All right, I'm going to play the audio again. Remember, try to identify the person who said that comment. Okay, microphone soft, please. I'm going to play it again. Pay attention. Microphone soft, thank you. Let's go. So, Simon, what's your opinion about the tourism explosion here? I think tourism has really benefited the local businesses. Many businesses depend on the tourist trade, and they provide jobs to plenty of people. Yes, I totally agree with that. Unemployment is much lower than it was in the past, so that's definitely a good thing for the locals. Also, the standard of living has improved a lot since I last came here. And just take a look at all the new cafes, restaurants, and stores that have appeared. There are many more choices than there were in the past. What do you think, George? In my opinion, tourism has had a positive impact. But I think that the town's infrastructure and transportation system still need a lot of work. Yes, that's true. It's not that easy to get around. I also think that from the architectural point of view, the tourism explosion has had a negative impact. The town has some of the most beautiful medieval buildings and churches in Europe, but all these ugly new hotels that they are building look awful. But on the other hand, the money that tourists spend helps the local government to maintain and restore the old buildings. Just a few years ago, many of these buildings looked very run down, so tourism has really helped there. On top of that, the streets are definitely cleaner and safer than before. That may be true, but I feel the town has lost its character a bit. I mean, there are plenty of places to go sightseeing, but for me it has been ruined by all the tourist traps, fast food restaurants, hotels, and souvenir shops. Simon, I'm not sure about that, to be honest. I would say the character of the place has improved as a result of tourism. The nightlife is excellent. In the center, there's such a variety of unique bars and cafes. Well, you could be right, but many of those bars attract the kind of noisy tourist who drinks too much and behaves badly. It's not always easy to find a place where you can simply relax with your friends and have a quiet drink. All right. Do you have the answers? Yes? No? Maybe, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right. And you guys? I I have a little doubt with the number seven, but um, <laughs> I is the correct. Okay. How about the rest of you guys? Do you have the answers? Yes, Tishan. Yes? Yes. Okay. But so... we are not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Let's imagine that this is the second part of the exam. Okay, ya le voy a mostrar la third part. Good party today, yes? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Surprise, I told you that today was a special day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the first comment was local business has benefited. So in this case, who said that? Uh, 
It was? Simon. Cool. Simon. In the number two, employment is lower. So the standard of living has improved. Who said that? Alice. Alice. Are you sure? I I heard that. I think Alice. Alice, Alice. very good. So if you wrote Alice, check. You have one point. Excellent. Now, the infrastructure and transportation system still need a lot of work. Who said that? George. George. George, are you sure? Yes. I, yes. I don't <laughs> listen to <laughs> Simon. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that their voices sometimes sounded like kind of the same, right? But it was George. Very good. Excellent. Number four, volunteer for reading the sentence, please. Number the four. nightlife. Yes, go ahead. Okay, the nightlife attracts tourists, tourists who drink too much and behave badly. Hmm, who said that? I heard Simon. <laughs> okay, and the rest of you guys? I listen to George. <laughs> <laughs> Rosalina, how about you? I'm lost in that. <laughs> okay. Yes. And the, re and the rest of you guys? Hector, mm -hmm. Ivan, Simon, maybe, Simon, maybe, <laughs> maybe, okay, and it was Simon, yes, so, uh, number five, volunteer for reading, please. If no one, nobody wants, I can. Yes, go ahead, please. The local government is able to maintain, maintain and restore all building, buildings. Building. Maintain, what is the pronunciation? That is the one, exactly as you said it. Maintain, to maintain and restore all buildings. So in this case, everyone, who said that? I hear Alice. Alice? Mm -hmm. Alice, yes, Alice, 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 you see guys, your listening is improving, very good job. Now, the new hotels look awful, who said that? George? George. 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 I hear Simon, <laughs> I don't know why, because I, I, think the, I think the same, Simon. Yeah, I hear Simon, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, some mm -hmm. of you say George, some of you say Simon, and is Simon, oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> wow, okay, pretty good job, guys. And the last one, uh, if we are talking about tourist traps, fast food restaurants and hotels, all those shops have ruined the character of the town. Who said that? My opinion is George. George? Simon too? <laughs> yeah. Simon Simon. Too. Oh my God, I heard everything with Simon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Simon, son of you say George, and it was? Simon. Yes. Wow, Mirna, oh. you got. That's I think because all Simon of them is correct. But I, I, I heard Simon because Simon is was the estaba como más in desacuerdo. I don't know. And, and saying like the most negative. Aspects. Yes, the me, the negative. Yes. Ah, that's a good point. Good technique. Very good. Did you pass the listening exam? Yes. Yes. Ah, very good. And you guys, did you pass I the have, exam? I have three mistakes. Oh, okay. And the rest of you? Listening. We need to practice listening, guys. All right. Now, do you think that these activities or these effects happens here in El Salvador? For example, let's 
think about a um, surf city. Do you think that the local business has been benefited or benefited about it? Yes, yes of no? course. Yeah. Yes, actually they are very benefited. They, they are reci receiving a lot of benefits. Benefits, yes. So do you think that the standard of living has improved for the locals in Surf City? Yes, of course, the economy, the economy for the people live in, in that area improved a lot and the, the business or the local business receive a benefit from the government, I think so. That's right. Mm -hmm. So how about the infrastructure or the transportation? Do they need a lot of work or not? Maybe. Are they okay? Transportation, maybe they need to. So improve they it? To, for, yeah, improve it for, for tourists from the airport. Because just the, the hotel, I think that have the shuttle, but, but it's from the hotel or but. It's private, but they, basically. Yes, it's private, yeah. How about the streets, the roads? Do they need to improve or? Are they fine? They are Actually, in the acceptable. <laughs> acceptable. Yes, they they need uh, the government uh, in in Nauraron. Or how do you say in Nauraron? <laughs> no remember. Oh, yeah, I don't remember either. Yeah, the the new the new the new highway. Road. Yeah, the highway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's, actually, it's it's, now. yeah, it's, it's yeah. They the government invested a lot of money on it. Yes. So it's think the about land, it's the land of Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <I> know. <laughs> the city is the land of the Bitcoin. <laughs> it's the city. Ooh. It's the Bitcoin city. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't enter in politics. <laughs> so, but how about the tourists? Do you think um, that the nightlife, because we said that in Surf City we have nightlife, do you think that? attracts a lot of people that drink too much or have bad behavior? Or do you think that they have good behavior? What do you think? Teacher, if you have uh, people drinking or drunken, it's, it's normal that you will have troubles. But El Tunco is a really good place. It's, it's really good beach. And you understand that this is the better place in the beach for drink and for have fun and for share share time with your with your friends. I don't know, something like that. So for you is like it's not negative, it's what you expect in places like that. Yes, it's together, it's part <laughs> of the party. That's true, especially in the nightlife, right? I mean, if you are talking about nightlife, if you don't like that kind of environment, you need to avoid it, right? Now, uh, that's true. Very good. Okay, if you see what we're discussing, listening, very good job with the listening part. Now, if you see during the audio, we were listening to different opinions phrases. So if you want to ask for opinion, what questions can you say? Look, what do you think? That's a very good question. If you want to ask opinions, or we can say, what's your opinion about? So I can ask you, okay, guys, what's your opinion about Surf City? And if you want to give your opinion, how can you answer? These are some phrases that we already studied. Mm -hmm. I think. In my opinion. In my opinion. Well, I feel Surf City is da 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 da. Or look at this one. Mm, I, I was... will say this one is a very nice phrase that you can include in your vocabulary. What do you think about Tunco Beach? Mm, I will say da, da 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 da. Okay. 
if imagine if I say, ah, I will say El Tunco Beach is a nice place. If you want to spend a very nice time with your family, if you like nightlife, is the best place to be in. If you agree with me, what are the phrases that you can use? Look. I totally I agree, agree with that. Pay attention. In this phrase, when we say agree, we don't use the verb to be. So if you say, I am agree, mm -mm, it's not correct. I don't need the verb to be in that phrase. Also, what is another phrase that you can say? Hey, that's true. El Tunco Beach is a beautiful place. The common ones that we already know, absolutely. Or simply, you are right. If you want to give extra information, we already know some of the phrases that we can use to add information, but here we got another ones. On the top of that, have you ever heard that one? Yes, nope. No, I never heard that. What it means? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone? No? No, teacher. No. On no. top of that, this is to include information. Actually, it's kind of common, right? If you want to translate it, um, let me think about a phrase that we say it in Spanish. Mm. It's Maybe not podría ser, eh, it be lo mejor de. Kind of, kind mm. of. Or it's like when we say sobre todo, right? That is like the most important thing. If you say, yeah, Tunco Beach is great. It has a perfect weather, delicious food. On the top of that, sobre todo, nightlife. That's the best thing okay so that is the meaning for on the top of that got it yes then, i get it cool then we have the other one what's more have you ever heard that one yes and what is that the best part mm -hmm. or is it is it uh, more information for the conversation? Exactly. That's what it. more it's about more. that? Mm -hmm. So you are mentioned different char different characteristics. So you want to include more characteristics. So you say, and what's more it and da 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 da. Okay. Like I say, además or not? Mm, similar, similar. But remember that in this case you are making emphasis on like the best that you key uh, the best characteristic that you might think about it mm -hmm. but yeah they are just synonyms to include information now what happens if you don't agree if you say i know tunco beach is not good i prefer costa del sol so if you want to introduce a contrast what is the typical phrase that we can use a word However, you can say, okay, yeah, Tuco Beach is very famous. However, mm -hmm. I consider and da, da 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 Also, we can say on the other hand, some people say, but on the other hand, but honestly, guys, I don't recommend you to use this phrase together because basically we have two contrast phrases. We had but, and then we have on the other hand. So it sounds redundant. So you can say just but or only on the other hand. But they both together, no, I don't recommend it. Okay? Teacher, I used to hear if you agree, uh, I'm on your way. And if yeah. your contrast is I'm, I'm not on your way or I'm not following you. I'm not following them. you. Yeah, it's 
they are expressing the same. Um, I've heard I'm not following you. And in this case, also it can be used when you don't understand very well something. Yeah, yeah, you see, you see that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Now, another phrase, guys, that you can use when you disagree is simply, I disagree. But remember, we don't use the verb to be. If you say, I am, no. It's just, I disagree. What else can we say? Hmm. I'm not okay. sure about that. Very good. To be honest. Uh, I'm not sure about it, to be honest. And then you explain your contrast idea. Or this one, but be careful with this phrase because that sounds a little bit a very strong contrast. If I say, yeah, Tunkovich is nice, you must be joking or you must be kidding. Be careful with this phrase because it's very, very uh, rude. Aggressive. <laughs> it's, a, it's exactly, I mean, it's very aggressive. Yeah. It's a totally disagreed phrase. So you can use it, especially when you have your friends with you, right? When you are discussing with your friends, but not with someone that is not your close friends because it's very confrontative. Or another one is, come on, right? Like, mm -hmm. ah, come on, how can you think that? So these ones, be careful with this, is just like when you are with your friends, okay? Mm -hmm. What happens if you are just partially agree, like 50-50, okay? You can say, eh, yeah, that may be true, but I'm not sure. Okay, or mm, yeah, that could be right, but I have never been there, so I don't know. Or mm, you're right up to a point. However, <laughs> eh, I'm not a hundred percent sure about it. So this is like half and a half. Okay, if you see very common phrases that you can use when you are discussing opinions. Imagine if I say, I think that the best touristic place here in El Salvador is El Pital. So what would be your opinion, guys? Do you agree? Are you in disagree? Partially agree? Or what do you think? Which phrase will you use? El Pital is the best touristic place here in El Salvador. Uh -huh. Best place is a, a, a good place, mm, but I have my doubt with the weather. <laughs> okay, pretty good. How about you guys? El Pital is the best place. Mm -hmm. Do you agree or not? Give me your opinion. Which phrase do you use? That may be true, but in my case, I prefer the beach. <laughs> All right. So that's the one. You can agree. You can disagree. You can be partially agree and you can give your opinion. So that is exactly what we want to do. And I want you to use these phrases. But we're going to have the third part of the exam. Okay, we already got grammar. We already got listening. It's time for the speaking. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. So uh, when you listen to your names, you know what to do. Um, Adriana Escalante. Oh, I think she's listening, right? Um, Carlos Abrigo. Carlos. Preston. Okay. Christian Alexander. Okay. Um, Erika Yasmin. Present. Okay. Fatima Denise. Herman eh, Alexander. Present. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Isabel Hernandez. 
Present, Miss. Okay. Iván Guzmán. Present. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Present. All right. Um, Holman Giron. Present. All right. Lucy Natalie. Present. All right. Um, let's see, let's see. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Well, he's not here. Um, Rosalina Alvarado. Present. All right. So guys, let's practice some topics and tell me if you agree or not. Okay. Um, let's see. The first one, the best movie. Okay, I want you to think about your favorite movie. The best movie ever made. Uh-huh, can you tell me guys, what do you think is the best movie ever? Any idea? In my case, teacher, I love a, a Memories of a Geisha. Mm, okay, actually, that's a good one. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I really love it. Okay. Everybody, how would you answer to her? She said that Memories of a Geisha is the best movie ever. Do you agree or not? or just partially? What do you think? Could be agree with uh, Erica, but in my opinion, I think that Prairie Woman ah, is the best movie. <laughs> very good answer. So imagine in this case, she is partially agree, right? And then she expressed a contrast. Nice. Now, Mirna mentioned Pretty woman. So everybody, do you agree with her? Or do you disagree? Okay, we only have a couple of minutes I, to participate. Uh -huh. I disagree. The <laughs> best is... Um, uh, Which one? Uh, <laughs> in, in, in English, I don't, not remember the name. But uh, you have a three emotion, um, no, four emotion. Sad, happy, angry. It's a, it's a, it's a. It's a combination. Mm -hmm. What I is the name? the name? But Soul? disagree. So you inside something, Soul. I think, is with <laughs> with your feelings, right? Sad. <laughs> Sadness, happiness, uh -huh. sad, happy. Uh -huh. yes. It's a cartoon movie. Yeah, yep. inside, inside out, I think. No. Inside out. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So what do you think, guys? Do you agree that Inside Out is the best movie ever? It's a good movie, actually. Yeah. <laughs> really is good movie, good, actual, good actors, mm -hmm. pretty actress. And in my opinion, I would rather action movies. Ah, so for you, what is the best movie ever made? It's a difficult question. Maybe. Magdalena loves Rambo. <laughs> Rambo is a crazy movie. But <laughs> it's gone. Ah, Forest Gump, yes. Forest, Forest is a good. Gone. It's a good. Yeah, it's a good. So we yeah, can say, right? Hey, I totally agree with that. Pretty yes. good. Okay, I it would have. Couldn't be, couldn't be the best, but yeah. it's a good movie. Very good. So <laughs> we agree, right? Maybe Forest Gump. Okay, I like that. Okay, let's see the next one. I think social networking websites are a waste of time. So what do you think about it? It depends the use of you give to them. If you use that for doing your businesses, it's not a, a waste, waste of time. Mm -hmm. So imagine in this case, are, is he agree or does he 
partially agree. What do you think? I think it's Maybe. partially. So you can say that mm, you write up the point, but it depends on the use that you give. How about you guys? I think that it's just a waste of time. But do you agree or not? Uh -huh. If you don't participate, well, you, you don't pass the exam. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, in my opinion, I agree with Mataleno because it depends that if you use the the social media for for looking information or do the homework or see a series or movie. <laughs> It depends. It depends the context and and however, if you use the 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 social media for bad things or or excess or you or you excess the time or waste a lot of time in social media, obviously, it's not good for you mm -hmm. or for you your health or mental health. That's a good point. So, everyone, do you agree with Mirna? Yeah, totally, totally. Very good. So, absolutely. Or, that's true. You are right. All right. Let's try to use the phrases, please. Now, I consider that English is a very easy language to learn. In my, opinion, it, in my opinion, it depends on your point of view if you are a native it's easy for you if you are learning as a second language it's so difficult <laughs> because you have to translate in your mind you have to change your your thought and uh, you, you know what is that <laughs> okay everybody what do you think do you agree with him or what's your opinion English is easy to learn. Uh huh. Tell me your opinions. What do you think? I think, teacher, yes, because when when was child, uh, your English. Uh, I in, hear English every day, in every moment. For this reason, I think it's easy. I never hear Russian, German, Japanese. And this, uh, in my opinion, is easier because it's, we, we, we hear in any place. It's like, it's like popular. It's mm -hmm. popular. Okay. Do you agree, everybody? Or not? Uh huh. You have the experience. So, what do you think? Uh huh. Yes, in, in the point of view of M, in his point of view, <laughs> in his point of view, if you compare with other languages, with the context of our languages, Japanese is, is completely different. Definitely. In a way, yes. English is easy. <laughs> <laughs> and be honest, guys, which one do you think is more difficult, learning English or Spanish? What do you think? Some of my, some of my friends um had told me that English uh, uh, that the Spanish is very difficult for the I don't know how do you say tilde and the grammar uh, tense. Yes, and not only that, guys, the verbs. Because in, in English we say I eat, you eat. The only ones that changes is she or he or it because we add the letter S. But imagine in Spanish, yo como, 
tú comes, <laughs> so it already changes. So I think Spanish is even more difficult. But well, unfortunately, we don't have more time to continue discussing the topics. So everybody, remember, work on the platform. Okay, that is important. And I know, guys, that you might be tired. I know it's Friday, it's, it's difficult, but I always want to encourage you to participate, okay? There are some people that always participate and that's great, but there are some others that I have some days without listening. Tengo personas que, tengo digitas de que no los escucho participar, so be careful, okay? Let's keep practicing. The more you practice, the more that you will learn. Now, I know that you might be tired, so today I will let you go to all of you. I'm not going to ask for the winner to stay today, so no worries. You can go to sleep. Have a beautiful weekend, everybody, and we are going to see you until Monday. Okay? See you guys. Thank you. Sure. Goodbye. Take care. Bye.